Hello everyone, the first part of episode 72 was released, and this episode was truly one of the most craziest episode of the series, and everybody has just one single question in mind, who will win, G-Man or the Astro Toilet? Well, in today's video, you'll get the answer to it with some insane proofs about both of these guys, and earlier today, Dafuk also revealed the release date of the episode, so you already know that this is gonna be a crazy ride. But before we dive in, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Anyways, let's go. So there were a lot of details in the last episode that almost everybody missed, and I was shocked that even the people that almost every time notice crazy details weren't able to catch it. But I'm here for you today with also some crazy info from Boom. So y'all may have remembered the tablet of the scientist cameraman and how it said his name and the serial number of the guy. Well, in the previous episode, things were pretty different because we actually weren't seeing any serial number on the tablet of the first POV of episode 71. So what actually happened here? Well, there are many possibilities. The first one being that this was one of the newly upgraded cameramen and they just didn't have any serial number on their tablets. But this is just too simple. The second possibility actually is crazy because what if the serial number was erased? Because this cameraman isn't a normal cameraman, but is a cameraman from the secret agent squad. And that's why I think that he didn't die just like the lucky cameraman. Well, it could also be possible that this was the first cameraman even created. So that's the reason to why this cameraman wasn't having a serial number on his tablet. But yeah, this sorta is mysterious. And I have also figured out why's this. But we'll get to that later. So many may have missed that. The Michael Toilet and the Scientist Toilet from Episode 68 Part 2 and 69 Part 1 also escaped with the rest of the squad but I just wasn't able to understand one thing here. The DJ toilet is floating pretty slowly here. So how's he actually keeping up with the rest of the squad? Maybe he also has something that he has yet to show us, but who actually will win in the next episode, because Boom actually did foreshadow in the last part that G toilet will fight the Astro toilet, and I think that we'll get to know witness some great displays of power from both sides. But when'll actually we see it? Well, Boom actually did reveal it earlier today, and he gave us the exact release date. But we'll get to it after figuring this out real quick. So we haven't seen much of the Astro Toilet's abilities as well as G-Man's, and we've just seen the ability that he can catch stuff with his arms, as he showed in Episode 70 Part 1, and everybody agrees that they're hiding a lot of abilities and are most likely holding back. And we also saw that how G-Man was expanding while his lasers and core was being charged and ready to attack. And seems like that bro will be pulling out stuff from his peach like the scientist toilet was doing with the Titans in episode 67. And he might pull out a whole TV screen this time. Bro really has a lot of space down there, no wonder Titan TV man's always excited. But that's not our topic today, so, in my opinion, G-Man will take over the lead in the start and will start beating the shit out of this Astro Toilet. But it could be possible that as soon as Jimmy shoots these lasers, the Astro starts to load them up in his arms like TV Titan does with his core and then just deflects all of them on Jimmy. But in my opinion, Boom will most likely now show G-Man in full potential and winning battles like he did in the old episodes but maybe we'll get to see another Astro Toilet as Boom told that they're enough and are crazily strong and upgraded. But Astro has another ability, in which he can kill G-Toilet easily. Because as we saw in Episode 60, that G-Man was screaming with pain once he did that. But why did the Astro Toilets accuse G-Man of treason? <laughs> Well, if you remember episode 60, they're the ones who attacked G-Toilet, even though it was fake, but it seems like that they didn't knew that he was fake or not. And the Astro Toilet in episode 60 also had accused G-Man of treason. What actually is the betrayal of G-Man towards the Astro Toilets? Maybe the Astro Toilets agreed with G-Man on something because it seems like that they're actually not from the race of the original Toilets and G-Man may have called them for help and later abandoned and betrayed them. But if G-Man is the commander of the toilets, then who actually is the leaded of them? Well, Scientist Toilet clearly wasn't the leader. 
So who actually is, well, we haven't actually met him yet, but rather have seen, maybe the guy in the picture with the secret agent has some connection here. And male 09 and male 07 will return again in the series, and they really do have some connections here. But we actually have a lot discussed because Boom has gives us plenty of material in the message he shared. But before that, I want to share something with y'all. So how is the DJ toilet actually flying while the rest of the toilets are flying? But with the help of the jetpacks, well, this has a really deep answer hidden in between. Because we actually don't know if all of the toilets we're seeing right now are humans. And in my opinion, most of them are robots. Because we actually heard weird sounds when attacking these ski beady toilets. <laughs> in the first part of episode 72. And the toilets that were humans were most likely wiped out by the Alliance because there isn't actually an unlimited source of humans. And all of the toilets that actually are humans can fly, like we saw G-Man in episode 20, and the toilet with laser eyes, and many other toilets. So yeah, the Astro toilets are humans and Jimmy also is. And maybe we'll also get to see Jimmy speaking English this time because the Astro Toilet has spoken. And Boom also said that the toilets actually can speak in any language, but they just prefer to speak in the Skibidi Toilet language. By the way, y'all may have seen the return of the camera strider and his crazy upgrades. And after that, only one thing comes in mind, the speaker strider. Well, what'll it look like? So recently, Boom released some merch on his store featuring the Speaker Strider, and it seems like that we'll also be seeing the return of the Speaker Strider soon. And as from this, it seems like that we're getting the return of some OG guys, like we got the DJ Toilet, and now the Camera Strider. And maybe soon we'll get to see the Speaker Strider, but if this continues, then we all can expect. The return of these two guys, Male Eero 7 and Male 09, and probably now in human form, because in one of Boom's videos, we actually saw the male 07 turning into a ski beady toilet, and this hints that he has a multiple forms. But what'll the Speaker Strider actually look like? Well, I've gotten a concept of the Speaker Strider for you guys, and this was made by Mauser, so the Speaker Strider concept looks like this. And not gonna lie, looks like bro's gonna deafen. In the next episode, he also has some cannons like Titan Speaker and the legs seem like they're pretty different from what he previously had, and also a super cannon installed on top. But remember, this is just a concept, not an original photo of the guy from Boom. The actual guy could be much different, but now let's get to the message that Boom has given us. So Defouque actually released the last episode almost after a month of waiting, but this time the wait time is pretty short as Boom has told around two days ago, that the episode will come out in a week, and it means that we should expect the episode to be released in between Friday to Monday, and a leak for the episode could be shared in two to three days or later. But yeah, as from this, a lot of questions arise and a lot comes in mind. Because it can't be possible that such an epic fight for the episode could be created in such a short period of time. So after reading this, one thing has been stuck in my mind, because maybe the fight of G-Toilet and Astro would be short as hell, and maybe the fight won't last long as the first part was around three minutes, this part would most likely be around one a minute and a half, or maybe even less, because it's getting released in a week. But nothing can be said because Boom always seeks ways to improve and speed up his animations while keeping the best quality. But yeah, we'll get to see where the Titans went in episode 73, or maybe we'll get to see a new Astro Toilet, and G-Man will flee the scene in episode 72, part 2. And it also could be possible that we're getting to see some display of power from the UFO Toilet. Because even if he's small, bro, looks like he can burn this planet down. But most likely we'll get to see some additional abilities from both of these guys.